What is up YouTube? I hope you guys did not miss me. I am back with another video. This is a part two of editing on my MacBook 16 inch M1 Max. It is maxed out, specced out, whatever you call it, with one terabyte SSD drive. Here I'm gonna focus just in editing and After Effects. Since a lot of people have been asking, I made a video just dedicated on topic in editing in After Effects only. I've had this since it came out and I can show you some things off of my editing experience. That way you guys get a general idea how this computer performs while you edit a pretty heavy project in After Effects. Quick disclaimer, I'm editing this off of SSD external drive, which is Samsung T5, not even T7. And I'm also running at the same time the QuickTime screen recording, so that might affect on our project. But when I was actually working on this project, I had not have a recorder, but I had other things open such as Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere, pretty much all the stuff that we usually have open, Chrome. I'm not here to sit and talk about benchmarks. I'm here to tell you and show you the real live experience editing on this computer. That way you guys get a general idea what to expect when you buy such a machine. If you guys want to watch how this computer performs editing off of Premiere Pro and other programs using cameras like Canon R5, RED, GoPros, and drone footage, you should check out the video above in here. But for now, let's jump into After Effects and let's open up this project. Right off the bat, I can tell you this took two full days to edit. And if I would be using my previous computer, which was a MacBook 2017, or my iMac, I probably would not even start this project. I would probably pay someone to do this because I would know that this would be just such a pain in the butt to do. This had minor hiccups, but the overall experience editing was great. As you can see here, I have 32 layers and I've got a lot of effects. Let's cut to the chase and let me tell you that you cannot play this back in full quality. To load this project, which is a minute and 15 seconds, in full quality, it took seven minutes. So you have to wait seven minutes to actually play back this in full quality. But this is an animation, and for this project, I was using vector files, pretty heavy. There is a map here, and pretty much what's going on is you get these effects where you go from one place to another, and then there are animations open up, there are text titles opening up and there is this line obviously with these dots that get connected and they keep going from location to location. By the way, comment below if you would like me to make a tutorial how to make a map like this because this was a cool learning experience and I would love to share it with you guys if you're interested of course. But let's get back to the project and like I said, full quality playback, not possible. But if we drop down just to third, we get a drastic improvement. It took a minute and 45 seconds to load the playback of this video in one third over quality, which is pretty much one to one. So the computer is almost catching up with the project because this is a minute and 15 second video. And I noticed the best playback at a quarter, if we drop it down all the way here, it just plays back instantly, smooth, no issues. And for a project like this, I did not see any major quality drops with the quarter. So for me, it was fine unless I had to point specific attention to a small animation to make sure it is at exact point. And I would actually zoom in to 100%, 200%, and then I would change it back to full quality because that would make sense for me. Other than that, quarter, it was fine for me. To export this full video in 4K quality, it took me 10 minutes and 53 seconds. Again, this is pretty large project. So something like this on my previous computer, <laughs> probably would take like 45 minutes. But here it was pretty simple, especially these time adjustments where I had to, let's say, move the map from one location to another. Flawless, nothing would give me any hard time. Let's just say if I wanna scale some piece of a map, easy and I can just put um, full quality and let's just say move things around and the computer would respond instant. Also, the computer did not freeze up even once during the whole process, which was great to see because we all know how Adobe works sometimes. But I usually see those issues with Premiere, even though for the last two months I've been working pretty much day to day and I don't think even once Premiere kicked me out. I had a time when Premiere made me create a new project like uh, sometimes it just doesn't like the project one and it would want you to recreate a project and call it Premiere Project One. That's like the only thing that happened to me, but it never actually kicked me out 
off of Premiere and especially it didn't kick me out off of After Effects. Even working a link two projects at the same time and have like Lightroom and Photoshop open and Chrome and it been just fine. The only thing that happened to me again, just like in the previous video, probably two times, it told me that I ran out of memory and I have 64 gigs in here. So guys, if you are thinking, should you upgrade to 64, I would recommend to because even having 64 during these two months, probably two times I got this message and I had to close up Chrome and QuickTime or something else just to make sure I got enough room to play with these applications. Have I run into any other issues? Not really, the only issue was the playback, so I had to drop it down to quarter playback. Other than that, manipulating footage was not a problem at all. Like I said, you could do all these adjustments, nothing freezes, like everything works instant and you are just good to go right away. As soon as you make a small change using the quarter playback, everything right away just reloads in seconds and it's a really nice, edit an experience, like you want to create more when you work off of a computer like that. <laughs> so for the heck of it, here let me show you the actual clip that I was able to make off of this project and this will be a part of my documentary that I've been working for like a year, hopefully I will be releasing that soon. And like I said again, comment below if you would like me to break down this project and how I was able to make a map like that, if that is something that you're interested in. Another thing that I wanted to point out it's super fast to pretty much switch from application to application. Let's just say if I want to close this and go back to Premiere or something, I can just control S, close it, and it closes instantly. I can open Premiere and open back again After Effects and the load time is just like seconds. And as soon as it opens up, you can right away work on it. Like you don't have to wait for it to boot and then to load and then to freeze. That's at least the issues I've been having before. But now like you can close the application, open it up again, and it just works fine. Well, that is it for me. If you would like to see more examples of editing in After Effects, go watch my previous video linked above. But for this, I just wanted to load up a big project since some people were requesting and just show you guys the experience I was getting while editing in After Effects. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy content like this. I don't want you guys to hold up even more. This was a quick video and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. I would really appreciate it. This helps a lot and it motivates us as creators to come up with more ideas for the videos and actually make them and post them more often if we get more feedback from you guys. So be nice to your neighbors and don't forget to flush the toilet when you're done. Peace. <laughs>